Welcome to the next section of our course, Advanced Framework Development with Selenium C Sharp. And in this section, we are going to talk about a very, very super simple CI CD with GitHub Actions to understand how we can run our application under test and the test within the CI CD pipeline. So the idea of executing this whole test within the CI CD pipeline of GitHub Action is going to look something like this. So this is the workflow that we are going to be talking about in this particular section. We are basically going to use the GitHub Actions workflow which is the CI CD workflow where we are going to spin up our application under test and our test execution within the GitHub within the GitHub Actions machine, which is nothing but an Ubuntu machine, as you can see over here. It is pretty much like a container which is going to perform all the different operations for you. So every time while you try creating a GitHub Actions workflow, it is going to perform all those operations using the image that you specify and it's going to act as a container to run all those operations for you so by default it is going to be the ubuntu latest image which is going to act as a container for you to execute all the operations that you're going to be performing and within this container just think about that as a machine where you need to install all the different dependencies that is required for you to execute those tests for example, in our case, we have built all the tests as well as the application using .NET technologies. So we need to install the .NET in the Ubuntu machine or the container because it will not have all those dependencies by default. So you got to be installing that first. And then, as you know that our application can be executed using the Docker Compose file, which is going to spin up our application itself, we got to be needing that as well. So we got to be doing that. So we need to call the Docker Compose execution within this particular container. And finally, we got to be running our Selenium test on this machine, which is going to point to the application which is running from the Docker container. You remember the local host of 5001? We got to be calling that port so that we can access it pretty much like how we did in our local machine. I'll probably show that in our next lecture so that you can get more idea about what I'm really talking about. And once the test execution completes, it is then going to generate an extent report like how we saw in our last section. We can then use this report as an artifact which can be uploaded in the built execution. So that is what is going to happen. It is going to look pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you all these things like how this is going to happen. So once again, to holistically see how this workflow is going to look like in more structural architecture, the operation is going to look something like this. As you can see, our application is built using ASP.NET Core and C Sharp application as well. So we got to be first of all encapsulating or running that within the Docker container and it has to run in the GitHub. And also we need to have our tests, which is a C Sharp code that we always run, should also be sitting in the GitHub repository. Because you know that all these days we have our application and the test in two different projects, we now have to bring them all close together so that we can check in in the same GitHub repository, which can then be helpful for us to run in the GitHub Actions pipeline. And that same thing going to be applicable for the CI CD operation as well. So we got to be bringing two worlds together right now, the application under test, as well as the test project together in one single repository so that we can check in in the GitHub repository and then perform the CI CD operation. That is something we got to be doing in this particular section as well. And now you will see that we'll not have a silo project for application and a silo project for the test. We're going to be bringing both of them together in one single project repo. And that is what really happens in the actual use case or in the real world where your application and your test will be sitting together so that they can be executed each and every commit in the CI CD pipeline. And that is what we are going to be doing in this particular section. And by the way, at the end of this particular section, we are going to have a working repository, something like this. I mean, don't worry about this name. We are going to be replacing that. But you will notice that we will have a GitHub Actions, which is going to look something like this. I've just tried before. I'm going to show this demo in this particular section. And you will notice that this execution has happened over here. It also has generated a spec flow report, which is nothing but the extent report, which you can actually see how the report is going to look like. So if I click that extent report, it is going to download it for us. And you can see the report can be seen over here. As you can see, this is exactly the same report that we saw in our last section. And not only that, after the execution is complete, you can have the check mark over here for the execution. And you'll probably see how this whole operations are going to happen. So we are going to basically do all these operations 
in this particular section and i will show you how we can achieve everything in much much easier fashion but now you may be thinking that there are so many things that is completely not you are aware of for example docker or the github actions i highly recommend you to go through my other course which is available in udemy called as understanding docker and using it for selenium automation and this course is built specifically for executing your test within docker container and how you can containerize the application and run that within docker containers as well and use that with the github actions ci cd pipeline and you can see that this course start with the understanding the abc of docker so you'll learn about the docker completely and then you'll also understand how you can run the selenium test in the containerized selenium grid and application so you are going to be doing that over here and then you'll be running the selenium test as a container and you're going to be also seeing how we can use that within the GitHub action. But before that, we'll also learn about the GitHub actions basic and then how you'll run the test along with the applications microservice container within GitHub action. So that is what this particular course actually covers. And this course is really, really holistic because this covers a lot more detail that you really require to understand this particular section so i highly recommend you to please go through this course before even you start this section if you're not familiar with github actions or ci cd as a whole this particular course should really really help you if you already know that you probably can skip this course and we can start talking in our next lecture